Example 7.4. In this example, we have a metallic cylinder with a length and a diameter provided. The cylinder is heated internally by an electrical heater and is subjected to a cross flow of air at low speed. Under these conditions, the velocity of the air and the temperature is given and is estimated to have a power of 46 watts that has been dissipated. The temperature of the cylinder is maintained at 128.4 Celsius. It is also estimated that 15% of the power dissipation is lost through radiation and the conduction through the end pieces. The goal of the problem is to determine the convection heat transfer due, due to the experimental observations, as well as the appropriate correlations, and compare these two results. The assumptions for the problem is that it's steady, the flow is incompressible and it maintains a constant and uniform temperature at the surface. The properties are evaluated at the temperature of the fluid as well as the temperature of the surface. Let's start the analysis by evaluating the convection coefficient using the experimental results. We know that the heat uh, loss is going to be equal to the average heat transfer coefficient the area and the differences between the temperatures. We also know that the amount of heat loss that we are that is going to be provided into the cylinder is going to be equal to 85% of the power that is being dissipated. We also know that the area that we are evaluating is going to be the surface area which is pi dl. By applying all this information into this uh, we could find that the average value of the convection coefficient is going to be equal to 102 watts per meter square k. The next step in the analysis is to evaluate the value of the convection coefficient using an appropriate correlation. To find out the appropriate correlation, we start by evaluating the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number in this case for the diameter is given as a velocity diameter kinematic viscosity and that is given as 7.9 times 10 to the third. For this value and having a prior number greater than 0.7 we could use Sarkowska's correlation which is given in equation 7.53. This relationship relates the Nussel number with the Reynolds number and the prior number using this formula. See? Reynolds number to the m, Prado number to the n, and then we take the ratio of the Prado number of the fluid and the Prado number of the surface to the one fourth. This correlation is valid because the range of the Reynolds number and the Prado number is within the parameters of the equation. Using table 7.4, which corresponds to this particular approximation, we find that the value of C is equal to 0.26 and the value of M is equal to 0.6. From the reading, we see that because the pattern number is less than 10, the value of N is equal to 0.37. If we substitute the information that we have into the Nussel number equation, we find that the Nussel number, this is an average value, apologize, is equal to 50.5. Using the relationship that the Nussel number is equal to H times D divided by K, then we find that the value of the convection coefficient is equal to 105 watts. Please note that this value is a little bit different from the experimental value, which is 102. It is a correlation, therefore the value is not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be a good approximation to it. Please make sure to go back and understand why we use this Sarkowska's correlation rather than any other one, and also compare any other correlation that might work for the criteria given in the problem, and you will see that the value of the coefficient will be close to the experimental results.